from the CCN. Today in the news, a devastating typhoon has wrecked the Philippines and destroyed the lives of many. It has hit almost every major city. Here in Manila, wreckage is everywhere. Families are being torn apart and no one, as of now, truly knows the total death toll, as water is everywhere and conceals almost all. Many countries are sending aid to the Philippines in the hopes that they will soon recover from this disastrous event. If you would like to donate, send money to this number. No one truly knows the horrible blow this country has taken. We have recent news that the NSA has been, has been revealed to have yet another involvement with international governments. Here to tell us about this interesting story, Jan is on the scene. Thank you, Greg. Reporting on scene, this is Jan Master. The NSA is defending itself from claims of several countries that it has been spying on. When Edward Snowden released this information to The Guardian last summer, many countries instantly took notice. The U.S. is getting an increasingly worse position on the issue as it is getting harder and harder to defend its position. We will watch as these cases continue and how they will affect the American people and the world as a whole. Back to you, Greg. Thank you, Thank you Jan. This has been very interesting and we hope for you to follow up soon. Theodore is in Kyoto, where a new fashion trend has broken out. We are live in Kyoto with some new fashion trend where you wrap your body in a saran wrap. I don't know why, but they seem to like it. There, there's a model right now. Excuse me, sir, sir. What is your name? My name is Yuko Shukamari. <laughs> Yuko Shukamari. I'm the founder of the saran wrap trend. You founded this trend. What made you think to wrap your body in a saran wrap? Well, I thought, what's the tightest substance on earth? What would make my butt pop so... 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 So successfully, and I thought, saran wrap, if you can wrap turkey in it, why couldn't you wrap my my steaming hot pile of... Sir, do you realize this is a cooking hardware, and of all the dangers it possesses, this is very dangerous. What dangers does it possess you? It, you can choke, you can trip and fall. Do you not care about all of these? No. If it is worth my sexuality, I am willing to sacrifice these risks. Alright, sir, be careful. Alright, that was Kyoto Shuka... That was... What was your name, sir? Yuko Shukamari. That was Yuko Shukamari, live on scene. Thank you. Back to you. Yuko goes around the world to share his intriguing fashion mind with all that will listen and all that will see. That certainly is interesting. Thank you, Theodore. We'll be right back after these messages. Here at Mama Yan's chicken bucket, the chicken is tender and the taste is semi-flavorful. Here at Mama Yan's chicken bucket, our main course, the goose nipple tartare, will have your mouth salvinated. Spiced with the finest of spices available in the market today. Come into Mama Yan's chicken bucket and taste the meat. Although it may not be FDA approved, our atmosphere is amazing. We move on to now a new story. A story on the internet has gained lots of atten attention around the world. A young girl by the name of Danny was found in Florida. She was undernourished to a point at which she was about to die. She was never she was never learned anything in cheek. She was grown to the point at which she was thought to never be able to speak. However, she has grown she has learned to communicate spectacularly and almost nor normally. Her story is truly inspiring and to the and to the reason made by the Pulitzer Prize winning story is sure to remain in the minds for a long time. Thank you, Greg. We have one of our reporters, Theodore, with Leonardo DiCaprio, here in the studio. To you, Theodore. Thank you, Ben. So, we're here to interview Leonardo DiCaprio about his new movie. So, how do you feel about this new movie? I think it's going to be a great film. I've worked with Martin Scorsese many times, and every time we work on a movie together, it turns out great. Like it has in The Departed and many other films we have worked together to complete. So, what do you think about the very high rating of your new movie? I thought the adult scenes were rather important, but if we had to cut them out to widen our audience, then so be it. NC-17? NC-17, yes. So that's all the time we have for today. Thank you for coming. You're welcome, and thank you for having me. Thank you. The Wolf of Wall Street, starring Leonardo DiCaprio and directed by Martin Scorsese, comes out December 25th. Our next story features Noah, our new reporter, with an investigative report about a long-running poison case which has come to a close. Thank you, Greg. The story of corpses of animals found at Atlanta has finally come to a close. After extensive research, we have discovered that these were planted centuries ago 
and poison the ground. These seeds are finally coming into fruition. The Line Enterprises planted these seeds to make the ground look nice. We've connected this company to the 11th president of the United States, known as James K. Polk. Polk liked the intention of the company, and therefore supported them with funding and their respect. The owner of Line Enterprises' name was Sam Keldra. This is also an anagram for James Polk. A little suspicious, suspicious, huh? The power of investigating reporting has solved another case once again. This, this unearths the question, can our own government be trusted? Or for that matter, can any of us be trusted? Thank you. Back to you, Greg. Thank you, Noah. We will be looking back to you for further updates on the story. We'll be right back after these messages. Every man needs to satisfy his needs. Every man needs a bellow. Every man needs a fire poker. Every man needs remotes. Every man needs charcoal. Every man needs firewood. Every man needs bananas. Every man needs a manly globe. Every man needs his scotch, and every man needs his cigar. But, not every man has every desire met. One desire in particular, the noise-making desire. While you were young, you may have discovered that the hammer makes quality noise. But as you grow older, it just ceases to satisfy. And that's why I'm here for you. Hi, I'm Manly Man, and this is Manly Man's Manly Noise Making Devices. First of which, I have the Crackler. The Crackler delivers a noise that is annoying to everyone around you, and satisfies your noise making degrees to the most. And This horn right here. This horn, the manly horn, makes a noise, if you are not satisfied with the crackler, sh that shall deliver. Stop all that damn noise! I rest my case. Now for sports. Good afternoon, this is Jan Masson with Daily Sports News. The question of this year is, will the Braves be able to get past the first round of the playoffs without the lack of pitching that they have and the lack of leadership on their team with the loss of Chipper Jones and Tim Hudson? Also, to football, the Falcons take another devastating loss, losing 27-7 against the Vikings. Third on our story today is the Braves Stadium. Will it be passed? Will the Braves actually move to Cobb County by 2017? That's their question for this week. On to you, Greg. That concludes our newscast. Thank you for watching CCN. Please call this number if you would like to send some information about an interesting news story that has happened around your town. And call this number to donate to Haiyan. Thank you and goodbye.